What is up guys, it is Starcraft Zergling here. I'm going to keep this real short and sweet, and I'm going to be showing you a glitch that I actually found on Desert Strike Legacy Edition on Starcraft 2. Now, I love this game mode, this is one of my favorite game modes, and as tradition, with me of course, I love to find glitches in my favorite games. So, what better to do a video on than Desert Strike, one of my favorites. So, it's kind of funny that I'm actually doing a Starcraft video when my name is Starcraft Zergling but I haven't done a Starcraft video before so here's your little treat folks alright so basically what I'm trying to do here and you can do it yourself uh, you'll notice that I'm trying to teleport my worker unit into the corner here I'm gonna go ahead and skip it ahead a little bit until I start start at it again so basically what I'm trying to do is teleport my drone into the corner in a specific way you'll see him like watch I'll teleport there again and he bounces back a little bit now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it pinpoint accuracy to the point where he pushes himself out instead of pushing back in he pushes out and I actually end up doing that uh, somewhere around here uh, I believe I get a spawning pool first if anything no nope, actually never mind here we go so you saw it pushed him out this is where I started to experiment a little bit I decided okay let's see where my boundaries lie and as I'll soon find out you can't go past this area splat done dunzo can't go past there alright so I bring out my drone again I'm like alright let me go ahead and make my spawning pool turn him into some speedlings now all I have to do is worry about these two buildings so back at it with the drone so, like I said, you have to have him moving, though. You can't just, like, stand still and then teleport him in the corner. He's got to be moving. There's got to be momentum. So, I do it again with actually better accuracy this time. And now I'm so impressed with myself. I'm like, guys, watch my drone. I'm so impressed. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm amazed by my own, my own little thing here. So, I got him walking on the outside. Look at that. Teal's like, what the hell's going on? I've never seen that before. So I thought to myself, hmm, what if I can use this to my advantage? Since the barrier doesn't only extend right here, it extends all the way around. Maybe I can get my drone to go all the way around and go to these gas, my, uh, these Vespian geysers over here. I'm like, yeah, I feel fucking smart. Let's see if, uh, if my hypothesis is correct. And then I'm thinking, wait, this wall will stop me. What will I do? Walk right past it. It's exactly what I do. So now, I say to my teammates, let me see if this works. So, it's going to come up soon. I really want to see if this works. We're going to go ahead and skip it ahead a little, tiny little bit. Don't want to go too far. Um, so, okay. So now, my drone gets sent back in tradition, uh, in traditional fashion, if you try to go past here the geyser sinks into the ground and ends up here which completely glitches Starcraft's logic now what I did I just got my fourth gas early I have just gotten my first gas early I glitched the game out so bad I am just so amazed with myself I'm like oh shit like when you find a glitch for yourself you feel so empowered it really feels empowering like you just did something nobody else has done so I keep playing the game and I'm gonna kinda save you the trouble of going through it here I do inevitably and I feel bad about myself I call myself a bastard because I really do feel like an asshole um, but I do end up creating my gases here and I have my fourth gas early but I don't stop there I actually do end up getting my fifth gas so I mean, I'm like, I'm trying to do it again. I'm like, okay, let's see if I can do it. He's, he's wondering what my income will be. I'm like, it's probably going to be normal. So let's give this another try. I think I'm going to be trying it again. I'm actually not quite sure. Uh, no, I don't have both extractors yet. Sad part is they have no idea. All right, second time doing it, and just flawlessly this time. So now, I... <laughs> I think it, you know, I'm just goofing around, and it happens again. It happens again. So this basically proves. See, there's two vest, there's two uh, extractors here. 
basically proves that this can be done. Uh, that it can be done that I can get all the way to my sixth gas. But I thought, no, if I get to my sixth gas, my team's going to hate me because I'm going to be the reason we lose. So, of course, I still have the intent to win this game. So, the game, like I said, goes about normally. And when it comes to the uh, 41st spawn, I actually do end up getting my, uh, my last geyser, and they all get their fourth. So, it's kind of funny how I get my sixth, they get their fourth. But it can be done online, and I really, I really do want this glitch patched. I, I do. Because it, it's like, th this glitch is just game-breaking. I literally have my fifth gas on spawn 21. It was on spawn 21. I actually did look it up. It was on 21. 21, I was getting 40 minerals per second. While everybody else was getting the normal 22. Uh, like I said, I I honestly don't recommend you doing this online, unless you unless you have like an asshole uh, opponent who's just being a total dick. Uh, and I did offer to use my first boom because I was like I was the reason we were losing. Anyway, I'm thinking to myself, all right, so there you go. <laughs> There's the glitch. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time, folks. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it uh, for my first StarCraft glitch video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is SCZ signing out. Peace.